A Mohamed Diam wonder strike was enough for Hull City to secure victory in the championship playoff final against Sheffield Wednesday at Wembley. The midfielder's curling right-footed shot from 25 yards sealed Hull's immediate return to the Premier League. Steve Bruce's side dominated what was a tense affair at times, with Diam striking a post in the first half. The Owls struggled to impose themselves as their 16-year exile from the top flight was prolonged. They had a late handball shout turned down when Jeremy Helen's stoppage time shot appeared to be blocked by Michael Dawson's arms. Senegal midfielder Diam's 10th goal of the season was his most important to date in a Hull shirt, with promotion to the Premier League estimated to be worth at least £170 million. The 28-year-old S moment of magic came when he ran on to Robert Snodgrass layoff and spotted the opportunity to curl into the roof of the net past the outstretched fingers of Kieran Westwood in the Wednesday goal. Victory in a third Wembley appearance in three seasons meant Hull joined champions Burnley in bouncing back to the Premier League at the first attempt, 370 days after they were relegated from the top division. For Hull who finished fourth in the regular season and nine points ahead of sixth-placed Wednesday, there was uncertainty over their promotion credentials before kick-off. They narrowly held on to a three-goal first-leg advantage in their semi-final against Derby and the jitters from that second-leg defeat appeared to dog their performance in the opening 20 minutes. But, after Wednesday had twice-tested goalkeeper Eldon Jakupovic from free kicks, the Tigers rallied. Diam's shot off the post and an Abel Hernandez header, which was cleared off the line by Kieran Lee, were followed by another chance, as Moses Odubajo was denied by Westwood's quick-thinking dash off his line. Captain Dawson also saw a half-volley blocked by Westwood after the break but it was Diam who secured victory with a sublime winner with 18 minutes remaining. Head coach Carlos Carvalho had overseen the reinvigoration of the Owls this season with some of the division's most eye-catching football. Following their semi-final victory over third-placed Brighton, Wednesday were well fancied to upset the form book and return to the top flight for the first time since 2000. Added to that, they were roared on by a vocal and vibrant contingent of fans in blue and white, who easily outnumbered those in attendance from Hull. But, after forward Fernando Forestieri and midfielder Ross Wallace had carved out two early chances from free kicks, their challenge dwindled. Leading scorer Forestieri was unable to impose himself on the game despite legs tiring towards the end of the match, and Wednesday's lack of potency in attack proved their eventual shortcoming. An imperious display from the midfielder, not just for his match-winning goal but for his all-round contribution. Full of endless running and seemingly popping up in both boxes for Hull, his vision was fittingly the moment to decide a nervous occasion for just more than 70,000 inside Wembley. He hit the post himself and was almost the provider for a second hull goal in either half, only for Odubajo and Hernandez to be denied by Wednesday's last line of defense. Match Reaction Hull City manager Steve Bruce, the goal was a wonder goal that would have graced any cup final. Up until then, I thought we'd missed some glorious chances but M.O. has produced that little bit of magic. It's been a long five or six weeks since we realized we couldn't achieve automatic promotion. Overall, I think we've deserved to win from the chances we've created. We know we've got to be at our maximum, next season. We'll see what we can do and get ready for that challenge. We've got a month before we start and then we'll have to look at budgets, but even when you've got money, you've got to use it wisely. Sheffield Wednesday head coach Carlos Carvalho, I think Hull deserved to win the game, they were better than us in this game. But we know we can play better than that. We tried to do our best, we tried to play our football. Hull, with one moment of quality, have decided the game. It was always going to be that way in this game. We have an experienced team but we didn't play the way we usually do and we didn't create too many problems defensively for Hull.